Okay, another Eurovision review, 2019, Tel Aviv. Uh, this one I'm going to talk about the German entry, uh, performed by a couple of girls who are sisters, who call themselves sisters. Um, the song is called Sister. So that's uh, German creativity for you. Um, it's not in German, which I do prefer when people sing in the vernacular, but maybe German is where I'll make an exception because that's not the most poetic language that we have on our beautiful continent. Uh, so Germany, yeah, go ahead. Maybe we actually prefer you in English. Um, okay, so two young women, two pretty girls, that's never wrong in the contest or indeed anywhere else. Um, I think that the... Um, well, they're, they're pretty good singers. They have pretty good voices. I think they're going to be able to get a little PR from the whole sister thing. Uh, but of course, they're also among the big five. That's... Some people have said that they think that it's... Uh, so I think that was... Uh, somebody commented on my video on Spain that it's actually good for some songs to not uh, be in the, um, in the semis because he thought the Spanish song was fun but it might get repetitive and so people might like it more if they only heard it once and I guess that's a theory but as a general rule I think it's pretty much always um, negative to be in the big five um, I think that this song is a little too bland and anonymous um, the melody is uh, definitely too bland the theme kind of stands out it's interesting it's somewhat original but it also because you have to remember people are not gonna look into anything the overwhelming majority of the audience uh, is not gonna look into the background of anything in this contest they're just gonna have a pizza and some beers or whatever it is they like to drink and they're gonna fall down in front of the TV and they're gonna watch it and that's all they know so even if a whole lot of people on the internet have told you that they totally understand your country's entry when they've read up on the background for it, uh, that's still a minute minority of the people who will be watching and potentially voting. Because that is hundreds of millions of people. Okay, maybe not that many. Maybe it's 140, 50 people. It's many, many tens of millions. And they're not going to do the research. Uh, and I think that... Some people will be put off from this entry, the German entry, by getting the impression that this is a song about sisterly love. And then it's kind of depressing. Uh, certainly the presentation is very arty and bleak. Um, and does not put a smile on your face at all, which hopefully you would when you're thinking about your sister. Um, I think that if this is the presentation they stick with, or that type of presentation, uh, kind of a downer. Um, I think that's going to be harmful to this song's chances because, yeah, it, it's it's too little too depressing, a little too weird, too arty. Because um, let's face it, you have three minutes. If it's not instantly accessible, especially for the big five, you're gonna be struggling. And you can like it or not, but that's reality. Three minutes is three minutes. Hit it out of the park at once, or you're done. Um, and Germany doesn't this year, but they rarely do, to be fair. Uh, this is not at all a bad entry. Um, it's a fine melody. It's really pretty to listen to, but it's relatively forgettable, like so many entries. And I think... Um, the theme is good, but what they do with it is kind of a downer, in my opinion. Uh, but good luck to Germany.